Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back from New York City. Axel Toss and Axlav here. We're jumping into perhaps the final game, depending on how Pult feels. Um, this is the grand final of the U.S. Champion Cup. The winner of this grand final gets an all-expenses-paid trip to IEM New York City on October 10th. Pult is up 2-1 to one on Illusion. Illusion must win two in a row to send it to a second best of five. Pult just needs to win one more to book his ticket to IEM New York New York City and he looked he's been looking pretty darn good in those first two games we'll have to see how illusion adjusts to deal with Polt can you even simply adjust though to deal with Polt though that's the thing yeah I'm not sure you can I mean it, it's like I, I just don't know what you do against Polt I mean <laughs> um game one illusion did beat him you get in his mind you have to get in his mind. You gotta play the mind games, man. And that's what happened game one. Pult thought the rush was over. Yeah. Canceled the bunker. Yep. Uh, I don't know if I could handle being inside Pult's mind, though. I don't know if I like. Could you, I don't even like. I don't know. If, I don't know if I could handle it. Yeah. Like if I had twenty seconds to transplant Pult's brain to replace my brain. Would I don't know your, if I could handle. Would your body like your body couldn't handle it, huh? No, I don't think it could. Yeah. The 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 thinking would just it would be, be like too high level. And yeah. You'd just be spazzing out. Yes, it would not be good. Be We're not going to perform that surgery anytime soon. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah, pulled he's, he's pulled super fellow. good. Let's see if we can keep it up here and close it out. I mean, it's been a long tournament for both these players. Illusion has played so many games today. He's fought through so many great games, great matches. Uh, he does not want to go anywhere, but it might be up to Pult here if, if Pult can, can close out a victory. He'll take the Series 3-1 and book that ticket to IEM New York City. You, oh, look at that. Look at Pult's SCV. Sneaky guy. Gets past the Marines. It even spots the factory timing. Wow. Oh, my God. What an interesting place for you that factory. You know what's cool? If, you know, it, like, there's six Marines who can't stop the SCV scout. They had one job, man. This guy to do it for him, man. Call him Billy Bob, the SCV. He's like, you know what, you, you Marines, you just, <laughs> so this is how you do it. You just tap the SCV on his shoulder, took him out. Easy, right? So is it a promotion if you are if you go from SCV to a Marine? You think? Uh, I don't know, actually. Because I'm like, you know, the SCV just got a kill, and he just did the job of the Marines. So he I should mean, probably get promoted. In, in the but military, then I thought, is it promotion if you go from SCV to a Marine? Yeah, I, I don't think it is. Yeah. Um, in most militaries, the Engineer Corps is, is definitely... Uh, more desirable position. Yes, than and than Marines are more expendable, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least in most situations, sometimes you pull SCVs to tank for Marines, right? True. Uh, but in most situations, the Marines like are more oh, especially late game. Oh you yeah. Think about that. If you have a lot of orbitals, or if they're rushing you, a lot of mules, yep. and you're like you don't need that many SCVs. You know, it, see, it's, it's their, their jobs get outsourced, right? Right. It's like to the meals. We can do it for zero <laughs> supply. <laughs> Classic geez. American problem, Just right? To make money for their families, man. So misunderstood. But the mules, the robots, You're flying from outer space, take it's like the SCV I robot. jobs. It's like I robot, man. Yep. Well, the computer's taking control. Anyway, um, what's going on in this game, Nick? I, uh, you know, illusion. So both of them went command center first. Very macro play from both sides. Right. Illusion is going really fast up to Medivacs, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, and, and Paul is delaying the Medivacs just a tiny bit. All right, no, he's not. I lied. Um, but Paul is getting siege tanks as well. Uh, whereas Illusion, we've seen this in the last game too. Illusion. He's been just like, uh, you know what? I don't need tanks. Yep. And, and it, yeah, and it's interesting. He was going double eBays, whereas Paul doesn't even have a single eBay yet. So Illusion's going to have a better mid game with upgrades, but his double drop could actually just kill him. Like. It, oh. it actually could just end the game. And in defense, like, Pole has a tank on the way, so he's going to be fine defensively. Yeah, he's got Marines in that bunker, and I don't see a push happening. Well, well he's going to try to step forward. Oh, he's going to want to target down the mode. tank. The bunker getting targeted down. The tank is there. Marines are still alive. Pole going to be cutting away here. The SCV's being pulled to help out. Meanwhile, there's going to be a drop in the main base of Illusion. Pole sprinting forward, getting that damage done. Oh, no, there's a command center there and three barracks in Illusion production. This is... If he can not die to this, but the problem is he's dying to this. He doesn't have, like, what, what, like he, his entire army was across the map, and Stim is done, well, Stim is done for both players. He, yeah, he rallied in more units, um, but he's actually... Oh, there's Tango, yeah. 
I think since Pult is in the production, he's going to be super happy with how this is working. Now there's nothing to defend these SEVs, and Pult is having a field day with these Marines. There's the GG, and Pult takes the 3-1 over Illusion. Confetti. Uh, wow. Yeah. He wasn't even Pulting around. Just wow. Straight to the victory.